because it's up to me to stay synced in. Not once a day, not just when I do my affirmation or my exercise from last week or summary of exercises, staying tuned and synced in to this version. So I'm going to use this phrase again. The catch is you have to be willing to let the version of you today go. And your progress will be in proportion to how fast you can let the version of you go and sink in with the new version. How fast you can let your current version of you go while sinking in with the new version of you and staying synced in. It's not so easy because we often attach to our beliefs very deeply because our ego wants to have identity. What this is going to feel like is your rules are all over the place for living life. You're not going to know which way's up and which way's down. You don't know whether things are right or wrong anymore. Has anybody else been through this where you've been through a shock in life and you had to immediately change your belief system? It's like it could be something with your family, it could be with your friends, it could be with some, and it was not always a not always an unhealthy shock, meaning something that was really hard to get through. It could have been a very healthy shock. But it was such a shock that it was like you change your entire belief system in a flip of a blank because you're saying, I have to. I'm almost forced to change my beliefs. If you've ever went through anything like that, throw in the comment box just a one liner. What was that scenario for you? And if it was very uh, personal to you, don't want to share it, of course, only feel safe for what you want to share. But give an example of that. Josh, you have a great one here. And thanks for attending here, Josh. I think it's 4 a.m. in the morning for you, Australian time. So, or maybe it's at 5 a.m. Let us know. But you said COVID 2020, the year 2020 was an entire rule shift for many people. You didn't know what to do. Your, 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 everything about how you lived life started to become very different. It was very shocking. Perfect one there. So what I want you to do is actually start to get disoriented. You don't remember if you earned 5,000 last month or 50,000. You don't remember if the last three years you've been a really great person uh, or a very great wealthy person. You don't remember if you were somebody who's always been a caregiver and constantly caregiving and or or being an anchor. You don't remember because you're so disoriented with trying to remember who you've been and who you are and who you're going to be. See, right now. Think about who you think you are for the last 30 years, 20 years, 10 years. You have a concept of who you think you've been, but it's not true. Out of all the life happenings in the last 10, 20, 30 years, there's a huge scope. You only remember, you've taken all of this and boiled it down to one sliver, maybe 1% of the pie. Out of the whole circle, you got 1%. You've taken all these events and you've created meanings and stories around all this stuff. And you think you are that 1% of this 99% also of this other stuff. That's not you, this 1% is. No, we're not doing that. Uh, Desha, I think you got unmuted there. Okay. So that 1%, we need to loosen. 
So if you were to come up with a theme for your life over the last 10, 20, 30 years, what would that 1% be? I've been somebody successful, but not super successful. I've been somebody who's doing well, but maybe not. There. I'm somebody who's awakened. Try and boil down the last 10, 20, 30 years into one line, one theme. And whatever you feel open to sharing, go ahead and throw into the chat box. <clears throat> they should totally okay. I stay at home mom, right? You got it. your kids with you, so probably unmuted there. Absolutely okay. Okay, keep throwing your themes in there. And so you have a great one here. I've been awakened, but not enough. That is a very common theme for a lot. I've been through that theme as well. We got stuck from Donna, Marlene, searching for life's purpose. Michelle, feeling numb. And Maria, I got a survival mode. Freddie, stuck. Tony, I've been just getting along. Emma, two steps forward, one step back. So it's just kind of like this little roller coaster. Art, fear of loss. Armando, roller coaster. Perfect. Thank you, everyone, for being blunt and honest. As you can tell, what is this theme for, for most? The theme is, I've done fine, but I'm not at my best. Right? But I can promise you that every person on this call, without knowing your entire life history, and I know a lot of you very, very well now, you've done way better than you think you have. And you're already in the top three, two, or one percent of the world by far. And I'd push it to say most of you on this call are in the top 0.1% of the population. How can I see that without knowing all of your history and all the things that you've done as an individual, even if you've done things that are not so good or very good or whatever the spectrum is, how can I know that? Is it because I'm just BSing you? Just making stuff up? Or is it intuitive energy that we have that connects us to a higher source that communicates a lot more than what our mind thinks? So I want you to consider what is life? What what why do I believe that about myself? Why is my mind making that story up? Because your mind's probably going to want to challenge what I'm saying here and say, "Well, Scott, you don't you just don't know. You don't know what I've been through the last 30 years. So I can show you case after case after case that I have been stuck or I have been numb or I have been roller coaster, right? So it'll it'll show you out of this whole pie, all the evidence. But what about the other evidence? What about all the other evidence of you being very successful or accomplished or really good in something? Everyone kind of getting the, this idea? Maybe throw number five into the chat box if this is resonating. What I'm trying to do is loosen your grip of reality. And that sounds crazy. Nobody ever says that walking down the street. Hey, let's get some loosened reality going and let's change our rules up, right? Because we grip onto these rules. So in these multiverse movies, there was one, I think it was in the Doctor Strange movie, I don't remember, but they are in this multiverse and whoever's a Marvel fan, just correct any of the uh, movie things here. But he was walking down the sidewalk and this different alternative reality, when it was red, it meant go. And then when it was green, it meant stop. Right. So in our world, obviously, when you have a red light, we all stop. When you have a green light, you go. He was going on a crosswalk and it, and it or maybe it showed him that he was walking and actually you should actually stop. Whatever the case was, you get the idea of the red and green light. So he was about to walk the crosswalk and then the cars are flying by. He almost got hit. And the person say, well, you got to understand in this alternative reality, the rules are different. So we want to understand in the alternative reality that you want to fuse with, 
the rules are different. 